pros and cons of living in Mexico. Let's start with the good stuff. It's very easy to get unprocessed, fresh, everything, lower cost food. Organic food in California is probably three times the cost is what you can get here. There's wonderful markets here, and I mean for getting fruits and vegetables, you don't have to go to a Walmart. I mean, you can if you want. Costco is in some places, and uh, transportation is easy and low cost. Luxury buses. Um, cons, you will get foreign language fatigue and wish that more people understood your bad Spanish, but that's on you, and you do have to learn it. Um, because I don't advise just hanging out with uh, people that speak your own language. And I'm going to continue over a minute because it's important uh, to realize that you're not going to be able to get the uh, electronics that you're used to getting. In the USA, there's a 20% markup if you go to the Apple store. Um, and... For myself, I do miss speaking English. Um, so there's that. And another pro, I'm going back and forth. The food is amazing and it's easy to cook healthy. And it's easy to get around on the buses without having a car, which is impossible in the United States. I mean, I've done it, but it's not that easy. So just to give you an update, um, and then I would say dating is a whole nother <laughs> area. <laughs> um, you'll notice that most of the people that come here are in couples. They're not solo, not solo women. So um, personally, I don't love always being with a certain kind of person. Uh, so if you're single and you're always with married people, you know, I didn't love that in the USA, USA either. I just find that the type of friendships open to you um, in the United States are more varied. So you can be friends with solos, with married people, with um, young people, entrepreneurs, everything. I mean, one of the things I found that I didn't like about being in Hawaii was that I didn't have a tribe of people that had their own businesses. And I needed that. I was used to having that. I was used to being in a tribe of people that understand having their own business as a woman. I mean, I've had my own business, photography business, for 35 years. I'm not going to be able to relate always to somebody that has a boss and uh, can't make their own decisions about their life uh, at any age. Um, just because I need to be with forward thinking people who are intelligent and taking risks and can understand the same about me um, <clears throat> without saying, oh, you work too much or all of that crap. No, I don't. I like having my own business. So no, that isn't going to stop. Um, so there's different things to consider. I mean, there are a lot of pro. Oh, and I forgot to mention the cost is much lower than uh, the United States. And I didn't mention that first because it's not the most important thing. I think the other things, uh, in addition to medical care, it's also good. And it's lower cost. Even if you go to a private hospital, you can pay out of pocket if you're working on a first world income. So um, these are things to take in mind. Um, another pro is that you pretty much, if you ask for a six month tourist visa, you can get that. I knew I was gonna stay last time, so I asked for a three month, but just, I think it's always better to ask for the six month because you just never know. You might end up staying here longer, so. I wanted to do that so people know what to expect and just to have some things to think about. So if you have any questions about being in Mexico long term, let me know.